So someone wanted to know about this instrument, which is called an optokinetic nystagmus drum, and today I'm joined by Matthew Miller, who's going to help us. Matthew, thanks for joining us. Of course. So the way to use this drum is, and Matthew's going to demonstrate, we're going to rotate the drum, and when as I'm rotating the drum, uh, Matthew's eyes are going to follow the target and then saccade back. So it's going to generate this kind of movement because he's going to be following these stripes and then he's going to have to saccade back. So it can be used both for afferent checking vision and efferent checking eye movement using this OKN. So the way we use it for afferent system is if someone says they're completely blind. So Matthew, you can pretend you're completely blind. You're completely blind, sir. I can't see anything. And if you can't see anything and he's no light perception or light perception vision, when we spin this drug, drum, if you really can't see anything, his eyes won't move. But if you can see, as soon as I start spinning the drum, the eyes will generate the OK in response. So it's one of the tests we use to detect non-organic patients as long as their vision is terrible. So you can't use this for like 2200 or 2050 vision because you can still see the stripes at that level. So it really is only useful for light perception, no light perception, terrible levels of vision. You can also use it on children who can't give a response on the chart and spinning the drum will generate the OK in response to see if they have vision. On the efferent side, the way we use it is it can generate the, an eye movement and there should be symmetry when we're spinning it to the right and to the left. And because they're trying to pursue the stripes, if you have a problem with the pursuit system, like in your parietal lobe, then you'll have an asymmetry in the direction of the parietal lobe pursuit, which is ipsilateral. And that might mean if someone has a homonymous hemianopsia and they have an asymmetric okay, and that would implicate the parietal lobe rather than the occipital lobe. So those are the kind of the two ways we use this optokinetic nystagmus drum. The other way we use it for the efferent system is we can generate a saccade upward. So I'm going to do it on my uh, Matthew here. So he's looking down and he's going to generate the saccade. He's going to follow the target and saccade up. And so that might generate upward saccades into convergence or traction nystagmus. So we can use this OK end drum spinning it downward to generate an upward saccade that might con induce a convergence or traction nystagmus in the dorsal membrane syndrome. So this thing is called an optokinetic nystagmus drum because it is generating a fast phase nystagmus corrective saccade. It's kinetic because it's moving and it's an optical stimulus on a drum. The OKN drum, very useful for both afferent and efferent disease. And thanks for helping, Matthew.